Hey guys, so I've decided to reorganize my storage for my Copic markers. Uh, these are the cubbies that I'm currently using for Copics. This is the entire set of sketch markers. I think it's a 358 um, markers in this um, in, in these cubbies here. Obviously, the, these are not all filled with Copic markers. So I have, let's see, one, two, three cubbies here that are not filled with Copics. There are Copics in this one, um, but also my multi-liners are in there too. And I also have a few of the refills um, sprinkled throughout. So I needed, um, I'm gonna need to take this off my desk because I'm not using my markers every day. So I wanted to find another way to store them. And I recall when I took the Copic coloring class or one of the Copic coloring classes, there was actually a woman who had one of the art bin storage um, units in the class. She had all of her Copics in it, all 358, and I think she had room for some of the, um, you know, the refills inside as well. So I remembered that I had one of the bins, and I'm going to show you what I've done. Let me put the camera in the holder, and then I can show you with both my hands. Hey guys, so I'm sharing with you my new Copic marker storage. This isn't a new idea. Um, you might be able to find videos on this on YouTube, but I know that there are some blogs out there that actually show this particular storage um, solution. I had heard about this a couple of years ago, actually. One of my um, Copic classes that I took, I think it was the intermediate. No, it wasn't an intermediate class. It was something else. <clears throat> They had somebody in the class actually had this case, and uh, somebody said, "Well, where did you get it?" And apparently, they were selling all the innards for it at the local scrapbooking store, which wasn't in my town. It was um, it's about an hour and a half away where I took the class. But um, so this is an art bin um, satchel case. It's the the extra deep one. Um, it it fits the the height of a Copic marker. You can see, um, and you can get these at Joann's. Use a coupon if they're not on sale because these are quite expensive, I think, um, as a bin. But it will store all the markers for you in here. Um, so this is the entire set plus some extras inside of this particular bin. And you do need to go to the hardware store to get the materials to use to to use what I did. Um, the reason I'm switching over is I have the cubbies that are like a four cubbies tall and uh, I believe I have four wide um, that are made by a company I don't believe that they're in business anymore they were open and they closed and they opened back up again and I think they're closed again last I checked so um, I'm removing them off of my crafting table because I don't use them every day and they're sitting in front of something and I want to to take them off so that I can store them this way and you know just pull them out when I need them so this is what I'm going with I believe hopefully it works out for me um, and the supply list okay I had the supply list let me go get it okay so I went to Lowe's um, home improvement because it was close to where I was and I had found some information on a blog post about what you would need and actually I slightly I realized that I actually didn't need some of the stuff that she had listed because of the way I constructed mine. Okay, so you're going to see on this receipt, these are all the item numbers of all the nuts and bolts that you're going to need. And one thing is the first one, two, three, four items listed, those are all in the bolts aisle, nuts and bolts aisle. And I'll put the information in the description box. And then this is a large panel of um, grid that you use for lighting to cover a um, fluorescent light and you get a large sheet of this. Um, it's plenty for what you're going to need for this. And then the bottom one is, actually no, sorry, the top one is some tubing and the bottom one is the egg crate. They call it egg crate, it doesn't look like an egg crate. Um, this tubing here is um, what I use to um, uh, shield the the big bolts that are down in here as a spacer. It's a spacer.
basically is what I used. And I, I got two feet of it, but you don't need two feet. I just got extra in case I screwed up. So it's not expensive. It, it was 29 cents for two feet. So that's not a big deal. The X here is a set of locking nuts, which are pretty expensive. I actually did not use them. So I may go ahead and return them because um, $11 is quite a lot to spend on locking nuts. Um, so yeah, I'm going to return those and get my money back on that. Um, but everything else is what is here other than the um, super satchel or what do you call it? Deluxe satchel. Um, and this is the item number for the tubing from Lowe's. And you can see I only got two feet. So if you guys haven't seen this before, um, this is the type of satchel that locks. So you can um, snap it shut. You are rest assured that if it snaps shut, your markers will not fall out. And they're also not going to move around. So you can store it on its flat on its back or you can store it sideways. Oh, the other thing I um, didn't have on my list, on that materials list, is because I... Um, I used some thick foam that I had already in my stash from Hobby Lobby. This is really thick um, fun foam. And the reason I did that is because in this particular satchel, there are cutouts on the side. You see this um, rib right here? There's three of them down the side. There's one in the middle. And those are removable um, dividers, basically. But it makes the bottom of the container uneven. So I put this foam in here so that all of the markers would be raised to the same height. And I just cut eight pieces of foam to fit in between those um, sections. So no big deal, right? Foam is not expensive. Um, obviously you can buy a big sheet and that's what I used. I didn't even use the whole sheet. So to the markers, oh, let me also show you from the side view, you can see the plastic grid that's in here. There's two and um, you cut it to a 20, 20 square by 20 square grid. And when I say squares, each of these is a little square that your marker fits into the slot. So that is what is holding the markers in place and upright in the bin. I put my Copic chart in here so that I would know um, where it was all the time. And if I need to need help finding a marker, um, it's pretty much arranged to the chart, but not because some of these have a lot of markers and they, and you, since it's only 20 in a row and you have more than 20 markers, you have to start going to a different row. And so I arranged mine where I, I thought best I could fit the colors the best. So like starting with the reds, this one down here at the bottom is R89, um, and, uh, R85 is here. So, um, but this whole row is actually, um, RVs. So you'll notice that they're not exactly all lined up into the same row. They, they can't be because there's too many markers, but this is all 358, um, Copic markers. Um, you can see here, I'm missing one. I don't know where that one is. <laughs> Actually, no, that might not be missing. That might be a hole on purpose. Sorry, guys. Um, but I realized that I am definitely missing one of the collection. It's up here, and it's the first one in the Ys. And I also have doubles, apparently, you know. So um, I tried to put the doubles in there, and then I started taking them out because I was like, well, they're taking up space, and I don't need a double marker. The reason I kept my doubles is because if I ever need to refill then I also have an extra marker to do so so before I have to refill so anyway um I wanted to show you this now what they didn't tell me in the blog that I was following um was that the grids the placement of the grids is important and I don't know if let's see I don't know if you guys recognize or realize this but with my grids they are towards the bottom of the bin. Um, the one person recommended these long bolts. I don't need a long bolt because I actually didn't use the um, grids all the way up to the top of the bolt. You go with a shorter bolt. This is a five, no, six inch bolt, carriage bolt. 
but you could probably go with one that's four inches and be just fine. The reason I say that is because, like I said, the um, grids are down here at the bottom. See? And the reason they have to be, for me, is because when they were towards the top, and I learned this the hard way because I had to move them more than once, um, the markers were having a hard time coming in and out of the slots. They were getting stuck, and the cap was getting left down in there. So I moved the top grid down and then also you'll notice that this particular grid isn't around that mark where the actual cap is it's lower than that that is to, to again allow the um, pen to come in and out easier so oops I knocked something off my desk so that is my new Copic marker storage if you have questions um, leave a comment below and I'll try and get back to you but I even have room for some of the refillers refills in here my multi liners are at the side um now the other thing to note is is that this is a 20 by 20 grid however because this case has these ribs down the side you have to cut a few squares out so you'll have um you'll have those um squares cut out and you'll also lose a slot or a few slots because of the bolt um, the bolt, if it is, you know, in, in a spot, it has to be able to, um, there's locking, nut, there's nuts around it too, nuts and bolt, uh, nuts and washers and the washers impede you putting a particular marker right next to the bolt because of the washer. So, um, you're going to lose a couple of spots for that, but you can still fit all the markers in here. If you notice again, all of the markers are in here except the one I'm missing. And I even have doubles of a few. So you will have extra slots and um, this will be able to store all the markers plus a few extras. I even have my um, nibs in here, which I can't pull out because they're stuck. Um, but this does um, lock and you can store it either way, upright or flat, and um, carry it with you. Okay? So that's the, um, the other thing that, that is an advantage over the cubbies is the cubbies aren't organized. The colors aren't organized. In, in other words, you have to dig through the actual cubby, you know, of markers to find the blue one that you're looking for. This way, they're all lined up and you know when one is missing. Like now I know I'm missing that particular marker. So that is my share for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.